What's up love squad? I'm back today with another cooking video and today I'll be making some super simple deviled eggs. Here I have some eggs from my local Kroger's. I have blue plate mayo as well as some um, pickles. And what I'm going to do is go ahead and boil my eggs, cool them down, peel them, and I'll be right back. Okay, I put went ahead and put my egg yolks in my mixing bowl. And how you do this is basically you cook your eggs very well done without overcooking them. And if you'll see, that egg yolk will just pop out with the tip of a fork. And then what I do is I just go in and I use my the back of my fork and I just mash my egg yolks. And this is a super easy recipe, but it has a twist to it, a little spin to it to make my eggs um, taste a little bit better. After I mash up my egg yolks in my mixing bowl, what I do with my other ingredients is I take my pickles, I just have here regular salad cubes, and I am, I am actually going to throw these into my Ninja Blender. And the reason why I'm doing this is because I want them minced. I don't want to bite down on chunks of pickles. I want that good flavor without that consistency in my mouth. I'm doing this particular devil egg um, recipe for a ladies lunch and I want it, everything to be cute and dainty. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and blend these sweet salad cubes in my Ninja Blender and I'll be back. Okay and now what I'm going to do is just basically add my seasonings to, uh, to this. I'm going to add a little bit of black pepper. You can use salt to your discretion. I'm just going to sprinkle a little salt on there. And for me, one of my secrets to my devil eggs is parsley. A little bit of dried parsley. And now I'm going to incorporate those pickles that I blended in my Ninja. And this is the consistency that I like for my pickles after I blend them. And because they are a little bit more liquefied, I'm just going to add them slowly to my devil egg mixture. You can always add in cooking, but you can never subtract. So when you're cooking, keep that in mind, guys. And now I'm gonna add my mayo as well. I'm gonna start off with just a little because I, because those pickles are so soft and liquefied, I don't want to have my mixture too runny. You want these to be more of an hors d'oeuvre for your guests. And you want them to be able to pick this up with ease. Okay, and this is the consistency that you want for your deviled eggs. And so now what I have here is I have my, I just have a regular Wilton piping bag. And I find this to be easier to use with my deviled eggs. And I'm basically going to pour my mixture down into my piping bag. And I'm going to snip the very end of my piping bag. I'm not using a tip with this, guys. I just want it to be very pretty for my luncheon. So as opposed to putting the mixture in there with a spoon, I'm going to just pipe it into my devil eggs. Okay, and with this pastry bag, I'm just going to go in and fill my eggs, each egg with some of my mixture. See how easy that is, guys, when you use a piping bag? And now what you want to do is just take a little bit of parsley and top it with your parsley, just for presentation, guys. And I promise you, these eggs will taste as good as they look. Don't forget to subscribe, share, like, and comment on this video. And try this out, guys, and let me know what you think. Until next time, love squad.